Now to take you inside the home, you'll see it has a beautiful open kitchen, the dining area, all with beautiful views of the lake. Kitchen includes granite countertops and Gen Air appliances and a beautiful antique bronze color. Custom built cabinetry. The kitchen also joins an open living room with a gas fireplace. All the furnishings are negotiable with the property. And off the kitchen is a hallway that takes you to the two guest bedrooms. As you can see, the first bedroom has two twin beds with a single closet. Next door in the hallway is the second bedroom with a full-size bed. And double closet. So as you can see, these two bedrooms are good size. We move down the hallway a little further. A nice full bathroom with a deep jacuzzi tub and shower, surround tile and tile flooring. Next door to the bathroom is a utility room. Uh, this is of course the water heater, furnace, washer and dryer. And at the end of this hallway is what's called a dumb waiter. It works like an elevator. It's got the electric hoist. It'll hold two adults and it's perfect for hauling heavy groceries or anybody with disabilities. It'll provide good access to the upper level. Walk back out to the living room and kitchen area. What I like about this floor plan is that the guest bedrooms are at one end of the home and the master suite is at the other end of the home with the living and kitchen area in the center for all the entertaining. As we enter into the master suite, it's about 600 square feet. And as you can see, they have a king size bed. So kind of give you an idea how big this room is. It has its own access to the deck. So you kind of have your own private quarters at this end. In the back of the room, takes us to another bathroom with a double vanity and shower. Around the corner, it's a big walk-in closet that they also use as an office area with a second utility closet. It houses a second water heater just for this end. So you'll have plenty of hot water. As you can see, there's also a main breaker box as well. Another spacious closet here. You can see a nice deep closet, plenty of shelving. As we come back through the master suite, between the master suite and the kitchen, is the entryway to the lower level. Nice wide staircase as well. The bottom of the stairway to our right is a single car garage with a shop at the end. You see plenty spacious here to hold a larger vehicle. To the left at the bottom of the stairs is the two-car garage doll. This side has poured concrete foundation and of course both sides have the concrete floor. 
this side also has a little half bath area. You could throw up some walls around that to enclose it anytime. Again, nice big patio doors for a view of the outside. This winds around behind the staircase to take you back to that workshop area in the first stall. As you can see, this has plenty of good elevation above base flood. Also has the flow throughs in the foundation that's required. Nice big overhead electric doors. Another man door that takes you to the back of the home on the roadside. Back to the bottom of the stairs to go upstairs. And that concludes our tour of the interior of the Saunders home.